Father Ketterer here with our December Q&A series on solidarity. Uh, so we had a couple questions, but basically all a uh, pretty similar vein, about how do we live out solidarity here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, in kind of suburban, semi-urban uh, Tulsa. Um, so I think there's a couple different ways. Uh, generally, when I think of solidarity, I think of solidarity with the poor and then solidarity with the um, unfortunate in other ways. So really the two main ways I think about that are the poor or the homeless, um, but also really right now thinking about the homebound or the elderly, um, many of whom have been in their nursing homes and haven't been able to get out and about, uh, or many elderly or sick or vulnerable who have been basically cooped up in their house since March. Um, so there's a couple ways that we can uh, exercise some solidarity with them. And I think solidarity goes deeper than just simply thinking about people, but actually in a way experiencing what they experience or being empathetic with them. Uh, so with the poor, of course, giving to charity is always the first step. But I think other ways of encountering the poor uh, can help with solidarity. Uh, that might mean serving uh, at the homeless shelter, serving a meal, being there with them. Uh, if we're not able to do that in person, it might mean eating a simple meal on occasion, just eating a simple ham sandwich or peanut butter sandwich for lunch rather than going out for a meal. Um, a ways maybe doing some fasting because we think about the hundreds of millions of people each day who go without food or go without a substantial amount of food. So we can choose to be in solidarity with them through simple acts of fasting, through simple acts of charity. Uh, and as far as the homebound, um, thinking about them, calling them, uh, praying for them, um, just visiting them if that's possible. I know it's a challenge right now. Uh, something that we at the parish did uh, and it, as an act of solidarity for those not able to get out was to drop off little gift baskets uh, on porches. Hopefully you've all have gotten those or will be soon. Surprise if you haven't yet. Uh, just little ways of not just thinking about people but actually praying, praying for them and trying to experience what they're experiencing uh, in the best way possible. I know a lot of times we think about just giving money or giving giving alms, which is always a first step, but sometimes solidarity goes even deeper. Um, and if we think about Father Rother, who I have a st great statue of him here, um, with the little girl in Guatemala, uh, he exercised solidarity to such a degree that he actually went down and became a missionary in Guatemala for many, many years, uh, eating the food that they ate, uh, wearing the clothes that they wore, living the lifestyle that they lived, even that uh, desperate poverty that they experienced. So sometimes God might call us to an extreme act of solidarity, of really living with, with the poor, with the vulnerable, uh, working with them, helping them. Uh, but sometimes it might be in other ways. And so it's uh, always an act of discernment of whether God is calling you to go deeper and to really experience in a deeper sol a way of solidarity with people or uh, just doing it in the ways that we're able to right now. So again, uh, lots of different ways to experience solidarity and hopefully that you can come up with a few on your own. God bless.